Good evening and welcome to episode 14 of the SNR Motoring Podcast. It's a little late. <clears throat> I was out of town for the weekend and I probably should have filmed it and recorded it before I left, but I didn't. So this is coming out a day late and normally when it's filmed in the mornings, it's filmed at night and you're gonna have to excuse if you're watching it the quality of the video I'm recording it on my old phone and the lighting is terrible because the overhead lights kind of bleach everything out so I'm working off some shop lights I have so uh, I really don't have a lot of a lot of stuff to talk about so I didn't have time to prepare. Uh, this trip has kind of thrown me for a loop and I'm still playing catch up and I, I still don't have everything done. So I'm going to kind of ramble for a little bit. Probably won't be 20 minutes, but we'll see what happens. But first and foremost, uh, Scott kind of covered it in the video, but I'm going to kind of, I just want to say thank you. Uh, we just recently hit 1,000 subscribers, and thank you so much to everyone who supported us, supported the channel. I'm not going to go off and name people. Scott already did it, so I'm not going to, you know, kind of beat a dead horse with this one. But, but thank you so much. This channel has grown into something I don't think Scott or, or I would, you know, thought that it would be. It's, uh... I mean, it's amazing how much we've grown, how much people are interested in seeing these cars run, and, you know, to everyone who's helped us, just, just thank you so much. Uh, this kind of started out as, as Scott said before, we kind of have a knack for just going, hey, let's, let's do this and do it. I, I think it kind of started out as just Scott and I hanging out working on cars it kind of gave us an excuse and it's 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 grown and we would like to push this thing as far as we can and make it definitely a lot bigger uh just earlier today actually we were talking about you know how it'd be cool if we had a couple other cars in the stable that we could build and they would be off the wall cars I think I made the comment that, you know, we need to, to build a, a New Yorker turbo, Chrysler New Yorker turbo. Uh, I think that would be, I don't know, the obscure 80s, 90s turbo cars that are not as popular. For some reason, they just grab my interest. And I, Scott's the same way. I mean, he, he we both appreciate more of the oddball and not, not as common. I, mean, I drive a Supra, so obviously I like the more common popular sports cars but you know we we have an appreciation for kind of the oddballs the Merker XR4 TIs the the New Yorker turbos the Daytona turbos list goes on I'm not gonna bore you with it so thank you again to everyone who subscribed who's helped us who's left a comment who's given advice because this is all very new to both of us and uh, we appreciate it and thank you so much I mean, so much we really do appreciate it all right move off that subject so i had read just briefly today i had read an article and it was i can't remember the exact title of it i'll try to find it maybe we can put it in the link if i can but it was something along the lines of the new age of street racing and whoever had written it had painted this beautiful picture of a need for speed game and it was he had to have made it up because like everything he described was something out of a need for speed game like he goes to an undisclosed warehouse where four guys 
or working on a BMW hooked up to a laptop. The guy behind the seat of the car is named Bow Wow and refuses to answer any of my questions about his personal life. I mean, it was just so ridiculous. And it got me thinking, like, so we, Scott and I like imports. Um, we've liked imports for a while. We kind of grew up with that Fast and Furious crowd. May not always agree with it. I mean, we're not really that big into body kits or slamming it all the way on the ground, neon lights or any of that. I mean, for us, it was always the go fast parts. The go fast parts were important. And, uh, but we get lumped in with that crowd. So, whenever someone who's not a car person looks at uh, whether it be, you know, like a kid playing a video game. Is that what they see? Like, do they do they think that, like, street racing, which I've been to a couple street races, uh, they're not what you think they are? <laughs> it, but, I mean, is that what non-car people think? It's a Need for Speed game? Or is it it, it, uh, it like Fast and the Furious where you meet at an old warehouse and there's hundreds of people and everyone meets up at a, a you know some random street and they close it off. Girls in, in uh, nightclub clothes go by and spray paint lines on it. And I, is that what, what the population thinks? I, uh, I'm just curious, because, you know, you look at certain things and you perceive them a certain way, but when you actually get to look at it, because it's all, you know, the few street races I've been to have always been a bunch of guys in a parking lot talking trash, uh, a couple times the fight have broken out, met in the middle of nowhere, couple races happen either the cops show up or that's it you call it a night you go home or a fight breaks out never never what the movies <laughs> portray it definitely not the glitz and glamour usually it's 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 pretty dark and like hurry up hurry up let's go let's go let's go not not too much uh, uh you know lights camera action there I think 1320 video does a good job of portraying it. I mean, it goes along the same lines and uh, uh, TRC. And I'm sure there's a bunch of other channels out there that, that do a better job of portraying it. But still, it's just, you know, this guy wrote this article and it was this huge, ridiculous need for speed midnight club storyline. And it was... You know, it was passed off as true. Maybe it is, but not here. Not in the South. I guarantee the South is exactly what you see on, you know, 1320 or Street Outlaws. A bunch of guys meeting in the parking lot, talking trash, some money's thrown around. They go to the races, the cops shows up, and they go home. Yeah. So that's the end of that rant. I don't think I want to go any more down that rabbit hole. It, uh, it was just, you know, kind of crazy idea. Like, I'm laughing the whole time I'm reading this. And I said I'm done, so I'm done. All right, so I'm kind of locked into this General Motors, uh, strike I'm probably getting all the facts wrong but uh, I've been trying to keep tabs on it and it's it's kind of messed up what General Motors is doing because from what I understand under yeah they whenever General Motors kind of tanked 
the workers had agreed that they won't take any raises because the company was losing money. Well, now the company is turning a profit and they haven't had a raise in 11 years. And now they just cut their, uh, their, their health insurance. That's kind of messed up. Um, no, I'm not going off on a rant saying, you know, we need to, to never buy GM again. You know, ban GM. Never. It's just, wow. Like, you know, that's kind of the, the guys who helped build the cars, the guys who actually, you know, build them, the workers, and they're making tons of money. I think it was in the billions of profit that General Motors actually made, and they were just like, Nope, you don't need a race. You make enough money. And then when they strike, they're like, we're cutting your insurance too. It's kind of dirty. I mean, that's, uh, it's kind of messed up because, you know, I'm a working Joe like anyone else. So, you know, being in that same situation with, with my family, it's, that's, that's scary, man. I'm not part of a union or anything, but, you know, in that same situation, it's just, that's, that's, that's kind of scary. You know, I, I hope it, it works out in favor of the workers and they get what they're asking. But wow, General Motors kind of sticking to their guns on this one. So, Porsche, I think we kind of touched about it. Yeah, we had talked about it last podcast, the Taken. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. But man, am I excited for this. Uh... Tesla and Porsche going at it like sports car EVs now I know I complain a lot about newer cars and, and how you know older cars are so much better because they have more character the smells the personality yada 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 but I'm I'm very intrigued by EVs I've never ridden in one I've never driven one I'd love to drive a Tesla I'd actually like to own a Tesla uh, something about the instant torque that's just I think would be awesome and it's you know as it looks it's the way that cars are going I mean, you know, start phasing out gas I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon but it, it's it's definitely coming I mean you're seeing a big shift towards elect EVs and their the uh, Technology has definitely come a long way, and I, I, I think it's only going to get faster and better. But like Porsche and Tesla going at it, I know there was the the video of the Tesla on the flatbed and, and the Taken flying by it. Uh, I'd love to see more manufacturers kind of throw their hat in that ring. Uh, you know, how great would it be if if uh, you know Ferrari, Lamborghini. Uh, even even like uh, a Toyota or someone like that had come out with an EV sports car. How awesome would that be? Um, I think it's awesome. I'm nerding out over it, so I, I'm kind of waiting to see what what comes next after you know the Tesla Nurburgring. I don't want to say fiasco, but it seems to be the best word for it right now. Um, I really don't have much else to ramble about. I wish I did. Uh, I tried to, to, to skim the news some more, but I'm just so much going on. I'm kind of, my head's kind of fried right now. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a short one. 15 minutes again thank you to everyone who subscribed commented helped gave advice I mean there's so many of you thank you so much we appreciate it and hopefully we can grow this channel and we you know we can bring more cars into the stable we can do more uh, you know and you guys will be entertained and laugh at us and our non <laughs> you know, we really don't have a lot of know what we're doing we just kind of dived into it uh, 
So yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you need shirts, hats, stickers, check out snrmotoring.com. Get your own. Uh, we should be. We should have some hoodies soon because it's about to get cold again. So you know, everybody needs a good hoodie. Hoodies help a lot. Uh, the videos come out every Sunday. Scott just released one. Him solo on G Pop. Finally getting G Pop started figured out what it was out of time distributor but oil pressure problems so if you like to follow that drama make sure you check us out uh, the podcast next week hopefully will be a lot more exciting because it'll be two of us talking and not just me rambling about stupid news stories uh, I know some people ask some questions, so we'll get those answered. I don't like doing those alone. I feel like it's that's more for both of us. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is our with us and our motoring saying good night. Keep on motoring.